it's happening magnet sites. So listen to this, right? Um, scientists have finally discovered the function of the human appendix. Now, before I read this, let me tell you something. Ever since I was little, and I remember being told in health class, you know, science class, biology class, that uh, we don't need the appendix, that uh, it, re it doesn't have a function. Um, by the process of evolution, it may have been something that we used to need, but we don't need. And I always said to myself, just something that it does. We just haven't figured it out yet. So it says, for generations, the appendix was thought to have no purpose. But now, researchers say that they have discovered the true function of this organ. And it is anything but redundant. Researchers now say that the appendix acts as a safe house for good bacteria. The body uses this to essentially reboot the digestive system when one suffers from a bout of dysentery or cholera. Duke University Medical Center in North Carolina, researchers say that following a severe bout of cholera or dysentery, which can purge the gut of bacteria essential for digestion, the appendix acts as a reserve for good bacteria to emerge. In spite of the findings, Professor Bill Parker says that this does not mean that we should cling onto our appendix at all costs. Uh, it is very important for people to understand that if their appendix is uh, inflamed, just because it has a function does not mean that they should keep it, he explained. So it's sort of a fun thing that we've found out, but we don't want it to cause any harm. We don't want people to say, oh, my appendix has a function, so I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to, I'm not going to go to, go, to go to the doctor. I'm going to hang on to it. And it goes on to say a few other things. So um, here's my thoughts on it, okay? I've never been an advocate of removing things. There are people I know who have removed their gallbladder. People I know who have removed their tonsils, who have removed their appendix, who have removed whole parts of their stomachs in an effort to uh, lose weight. Personally, this is my belief. I was re always really good in biology um, and uh, different sciences like that related to it. And um, from what I've read and studied over the years about natural health, you almost never, ever have to remove your organs, okay? Your tonsils are sentinels standing at the gate of your immune system, and they protect you against so much bacteria and disease. It's, it's, it's not even funny. And people get them removed because a lot of times your body is inflamed. Your lymphatic system is inflamed because of your body being bloated with chemicals, preservatives, all these other toxins that you ingest from this toxic society and food system that we have. Once I started eating organic and cleansing, guess what? My tonsils don't get swollen anymore. Mine used to. Never had any gallbladder problems, but there are gallbladder cleanses that I've read about. It'll make your gallbladder spit out all them gallstones, get rid of all that nastiness when you clean yourself properly, and then you don't have the gallbladder pain. And I believe gallbladder helps digest uh, fats and stuff, so if you, you know, if your gallbladder is all messed up, you know, you have an issue with uh, fatty foods. Uh, the appendix. Hey, we all know a burst comp appendix can kill you. So, if, yeah, I mean, you know, if you got appendicitis and there's no way to reverse it, yeah, you're going to have to get it taken out. And as we see, many people actually live um, very long, healthy lives after having appendix taken out. But... You'll probably have to, you know, now that we know what it does, you might have to supplement good bacteria into your body to keep a nice good balance because it may have caused other problems later. It was put there for a reason. So why'd you take it out? You ever find a screw or, or a nut somewhere or a washer off of something you built? Like this damn desk I got. I find a screw somewhere and I'm like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> well, it seems to hold together, right? And then later on, something falls off, one of the shells fall, or it starts to lean. That's how your body is. It needs everything that it's got, okay? As just, just as what I believe, okay, from my studies of the human body, anatomy, and systems of the body, you need everything that you got in there. Yes, you can survive. Shit, you could cut my lips off, I don't need them to live. You could cut my nose off, I don't need them to live. Shit, you could cut my arms, your legs off, and my butt cheeks, and I could still live, okay? It don't mean that they do not have a function. Also a function that could prolong my life and keep me healthy and keep me happy and I won't have other problems down the road. So anyway, like I said, there's a lot of parts of your body you can lose, but please, before you go under the knife, I mean, hey, in certain situations, yes, I would say that it's definitely you have to, because you have something that's happened to you or you have destroyed a part of your body or something has happened that has messed you up to the point where you're at the point of no return. Okay, then go under the knife. But you can save it, rejuvenate it, regrow it. Hey, why not? My mom was in a car accident back when I was in seventh grade. She had a lower back injury. Years later, she was in kidney dialysis and the doctors could not figure out why she was had to go kidney dialysis. Usually you're diabetic. She wasn't diabetic, what's the problem? As I continued to go to a chiropractor, I said, you know what, mom? I think your lower back was injured. You had some subluxations. They choked the nerves running to your kidneys, and that's the reason why your kidneys don't work anymore. She didn't believe me. Oh, all that natural hocus pocus. Right, that just sounds backwards right there. So anyway, after I threatened her, I told her I wasn't going to speak to her anymore if she didn't uh, go to chiropractor because if she didn't care about her health, then I didn't care about her health anymore either. She went reluctantly where the lips poked out like a little kid sitting in the car. So she goes. Two months later, she starts to urinate a little bit. She's still going to kidney dialysis. She starts to urinate. Hmm. And that's just the thing. You don't know it could be some small tweak that you need done in your body. When chiropractic was first discovered, it was a doctor who found a uh, subluxation, which is the bone being out of alignment in your spine. Um, and I believe uh, a deaf man's neck. When he fixed it, a few days later, the man's hearing came back. See, he had an injury when he was younger, probably being pulled out of the birth canal, how he pulled and twisted the kid's head. I'll get on that in another video. Uh, yeah, Sarah's gonna have a water birth. But anyway, so there's that. And then, um, you know, over the years, because it's, you know, cinched on the nerves that run to your ears, now all of a sudden your ears are choked and they, they can't live, that they're not getting the nerve impulses from the brain to grow and to function. So over time, after your body remakes itself every 90 days, 120 days or so, they became weaker and weaker and weaker and they couldn't hear. But now they came back and they're functioning. You get what I'm saying? Well, this was way back then. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of times there's really a natural solution for all these problems that you have. And you just, the doctor said, oh, let's cut it out. Yeah, and you cut it out. And by the way, your doctor always gets paid way more to cut something out of you, just so you know. So anyway, like when I shit, I'm, I'm, I'm going on some more shit. I went to the dentist, they had my, I had a wisdom tooth pulled out because it was cracked. It was causing my problems and uh, food was getting in it and it was stinking. And I just wanted him to repair it. And because I was going through so much pain, you know, I, I reluctantly had him pull it. And he was like, yeah, you really should have all the others pulled. What the fuck for? They grew in for a reason. People say you don't need your wisdom teeth. They're back there for, for a reason, like I said. They, they have some function that you may, doctors may not be able to figure out now, but you may 100 years later. And then you're going to say, don't ever get them pulled out. Maybe you should just get them reset or refixed. And I know some grow in wrong and cause massive pain, and you may have to get them out. I'm not talking about them. Mine all grew in fine. I just, mine was cracked and damaged. So anyway, I'm done on this rant. I will post an article and let me know what y'all think about natural health and keeping all your body organs. Cause shit, you ain't removing nothing of mine unless I done tried everything I can do to repair. 
Let me in subscribers. Woo!